Hello, and thank you for joining me, everybody. I'm making another video putting together Tyson here. And uh, in my last video, a few couple videos, well, not the exact last one, that was kind of a one on Mars I just kind of threw together. Uh, but my one before that, I've been working on some permineralized um, hairs and interstitching and uh, tissue layers and everything of this giant creature. And you've seen this in my last video, these are hairs, which um, you can see there. And I'll show you some more. Okay, here's another hair that I had a picture I brought to you. Here's another picture of it, or one of them. Another shot. Some more laying there. That one's the same one though. Anyway, there's some more here, and the rest is eroded off and missing. I also brought you an interstitching, which is underneath the lay, uh, right underneath your skin. It makes it all go back in place, and here's some of that. And here's more of the interstitching, that matting, and you can see up in here of the matting around it. And more of them here, and then I'm going to show you, I'm starting to get into some tissue, I'm going to show you tissue, because that's what we're getting to. Okay, so my uh, couple videos back, I was going down through all this, this is tissue back in here, and I'm going that direction now, and we're going to be getting into more tissue. Okay, this is all top layer skin tissue, okay, the very top, and that's what I should brought you in the last couple videos there. Now I'm going north, I'm going to show you stuff that's down below the basement layer tissues and stuff is what we're going to be getting into. Okay, this is what I'm going to be getting into. This would be tissue that's going to be permineralized. It's going to be base layers down a lot, lot lower in this creature, okay? So right now I'm going to be bringing you some, uh, if you got children, you might want to take them away for a bit. I'm going to show you some tissue and stuff on some cadavers, some really gross stuff that uh, might be too much for children to handle. So get ready for some uh, biology here from human beings that are dead. So get ready. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you some anatomy. Okay, this is Gil Headley's Integral Anatomy. I've been watching so many of these, it's not even funny. And you'll learn so much about anat how tissues, shallow uh, tissue, deep tissue, fascia, how it works, what it, what it's like, how, what it looks like. And you get an idea how much there is on the human body even. Can, look at the blood still in it. And then this stuff gets... <laughs> I'll show you something here. I want to show you something. Uh, I'll show you how exactly how much layers, it, I'm trying to show you is layers, how many layers of fascia and tissue there are just on a human body. Let me show you something here. Okay, this is a woman's body, a female, a female um, subject. Now I want to show you, if they take all, this took them I don't know how many days to take all the, uh, the tissue, uh, fascia off of her, and wait till you see this is how much is on a body, this woman's body alone, and lots of our bodies are this way. And then you start realizing how much fascia and how much tissue that there is that we're seeing, and then you get the patterns going. That is part of her. Watch this. She's laying beside the rest of it. They took it off, and there you go. This whole suit was on top of, uh, on this woman, of uh, uh, fascia. We do not understand fascia the way it's understood by like, Gil Headley. And that's why people understand that we keep bringing up fascia and tissues that we're seeing on uh, this mud or uh, permineralization. And that's why, because of the tissue and the way it is so much of it. And when you start understanding what's going on with all this fashion and stuff and how much of it there is in here, and you watch these videos, then you'll start understanding what we're seeing. Look when you get back and you see that shiny fascia in there compared to the stuff that was on top. There's thousands of layers in our bodies, and that's what people understand. There's not just a few. There's thousands. I want to show into some of this part. Look at the, the different patterns, just incredible patterns in there, just mind-blowing. And that's why you see the patterns we're finding. But watch this. Look at that, look at that, look at that weaving pattern in there. You see that? That's why you see that pattern I show you all the time. It's amazing how many layer upon layer upon layer we have, just in the human body. And we're not talking, I mean, the com imagine these creatures. That's what I'm trying to show you, there's just thousands of layers. I mean, look at this piece here, you can, you can almost, I mean, it, the light's coming through. I've seen some that he's got, you can almost, you can see through them. But you look at these patterns in here, like on, when I did Zion National Park, it looked like a paintbrush coming through there with strokes. And geologists would call it cross bedding. No, it's not. It's this is if this looks. Then this would be cross bedding too with sand. <laughs> but if you get up in here, and this is integral anatomy, uh, V two part one. 
So this is video two part one deep fashion muscle come up here and watch some of his videos and You'll start understanding why we're finding the patterns and stuff. We're finding But if you want to learn why we find things the way we do and the way they look this is how I learned Come up and watch this gross stuff and you'll then you'll start to figure out things I don't know how else to tell you I do it. This is the way I do it I'm gonna show you a little bit more and I'm gonna show you my video get in my video See the skin and the fascia Look, look how thin that is. Look at look at the fibrous bands and you got this down here. Anyway, this is the stuff that ends up getting mud fossilized over top of something and uh, whatever might be underneath might be solid and then you end up with this pattern over top of something. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and get to my video. I think you get an idea why I'm showing you this stuff so you understand how connective tissue and stuff like that works. And a lot of this stuff gets, uh, like some of the muscle be gone. I mean, it all depends on how it was fossilized, what kind of preservation inland, salt water, dry area, whatever. But that's what we end up finding is a lot of this tissue that's, uh, it changed its form because the molecules no longer stay in the form they were in. All right, hope that helps and I'm out of here. Get okay, going I'm hiking video. up on this knob. I want to get some video of this because it's really pretty. I should have been doing it earlier, but you guys will think enjoy this. I'm trying to get to a spot I seen from the other side over here and look down on it. Who didn't know it'd be this much walking. I just walked out of that hole I was in down by the beach. <sighs> Getting too old. And f <sighs> okay. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> We all have a decision in life, right? Do I go right or do I go left? And we'll do both. Holy cow. You know, a park. I got these little parks hidden everywhere. I don't know how to get through. I've seen this stuff on. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's what I want to get to. I think. Shortcut, right? Oh yeah, yeah. This is what I wanted to get down into. But I ain't gonna be able to do her today. Those. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get to those this summer. I'm gonna get down in there and show you this stuff. And my, I don't think I can get down in there too. I don't know how to get down in there right now. I think too high up. I gotta find a way in. I'm gonna get the other camera out and show you some patterns down here. Okay, but I'm gonna plan on getting here this summer and going down in there and get up on those and take a look or try to get up on them. <laughs> anyway, all right, get the other camera out. All right, uh, I was starting to head back, but I found another trail to the side. And I'm able to get over here and get down here and get a shot from the end, but I also think I found a way down. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it today. I think I got enough time. It put me home late, but there's a rope here going down through all this. I got to turn the. I'm gonna need both hands. I can't keep the camera on. Cameras on, so I gotta climb down through there. So this might be my last video ever. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna shut this off. Okay. All right, I got the GoPro out. I made her. So we're not dead yet. Of course, we're not back out yet either. But I'm able to get down in here. Hot dog. All right, so I'm uh, get my bearings here, and I'm gonna get the other camera out, and we're gonna do some. I mean, I'll just use this one. Hold on a minute. All right, I think it's working now. Sometimes this GoPro freezes up. We're down inside this bowl here. A lot of erosion, but I'm able to get right up to this pattern now. Boy. Got KO and clays here. This slicker and snot is gray. Woo! This is that that matrix, that pad, that, that fabric that would have been over top of something else. You know, you got we got so much uh, fascia in our bodies. You know, membranes. It's not even funny. 
that's why I try to get people to go watch Gil Headley stuff, The Anatomist, because you'll find out why we're finding so much of this pattern and we find so many of these layers because that's what we're made up of. The stuff that they think are sedimentary deposits and stuff, no, they're not. Now, I'm not talking about the stuff settling in a pond or something. I'm talking about the stuff that they're saying has been here, that's base salt or whatever that's been here for millions and billions and trillions and whatever years. Yeah. Okay, we're able to get a look at some of this stuff now from up inside the other side of it. Boy, how black that is. Oh, look how thick it is. Woohoo! Nelly! Look at that! Whoa! I gotta get some of this to Roger Spur. He's gonna blow his mind when he sees how thick this membrane is. This fabric. Holy cow, man. Wish I had a tape measure. Jeez. Sorry, but when I realized if you knew what we have here, this is blowing my cotton picking mind with the thickness of that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the other camera out here. Well, I really don't need to. I can walk right up to it. Jeez. See the chunks that have fallen out of it? It's just the same way your body's made of inside. Look at the different layers. And look how thick it is. That's eight. There's eight, 16, 24. That thing's over three foot thick. That fabric, way over three foot thick in there. Pushing close to probably almost four foot right in there. I don't know about the one below it. It's because, you know, we're in layers, layer upon layer. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I gotta get down here so I can look back on it. Look at that in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're up, we're up, we're okay. Wow, that's slick. We're gonna be a little more careful this time. Wow, that's slick. I cannot believe how thick that is. Oh, look how big these are. I mean, <laughs> if you think there's no such thing as a god, you're severely mistaken. Something had to kill all this and create this. And wow, look at that wave. That's gnarly. Okay, look how thick this thing is. We've seen it from the other side. Extend this out a little bit. And this is no sedimentary deposit like, you know. Yeah, I could like you to believe. You know, I can understand what they're seeing, but that's not what's going on. All right, I think I'm going to be nervous, <laughs> very nervous. I'm going to try to work my way that way and get over in there. Or maybe I should go that way. I'm, I'm going to get the other camera out, get a little higher ground here too. Got that pattern like I have there up on top there, which I would expect because the biology is in layers and blocks. I'm gonna get over here and uh, get this done and get out of here and head for home.
it's cool you start getting into the stuff that's all underwater all the time and you start running into a lot of purples and reds of course a lot of this is also algae type of a fungus or whatever growing down in there whoa look at that one I hope I read that tide book right <laughs> All this would have been part of that. And we just went up like it. it's just all boy, this is awesome in here. I'm not even really sure what I'm dealing with yet. Won't know until I get home and look at a lot of this video because I gotta spend time looking at it and studying it and holy cow. The reds up on top. Wow. Believe it or not, it's inside your body the same way. Lay thousands of layers. Can't even count some places where it's so... And a geologist will tell you that's sedimentary deposits. Okay, 